Here we have a sketch. If we go into Tools, then Sketch Settings, we have the option to toggle on or off Automatic Solve. When we toggle Automatic Solve off, in our status bar you'll see we get a message Auto Solve Mode Off. Now what that does is it effectively stops the sketch from solving as you're working on it. So for example, if I wanted to change the value here of 40 to something else, let's take it to 25, you can see there's no change in the sketch geometry, although the dimension has updated. When I exit the sketch and rebuild the model, it's at that point that the sketch geometry changes. So why would you want to use this? Well, if you've got a really complex sketch that takes quite a lot of time to, to solve, um, and perhaps you want to change a few dimensions within it, rather than having to rebuild it with every change to a dimension, you can do a, um, a host of changes in one hit, and then at the end rebuild it to save you a little bit of time. However, most people tend not to work like this and prefer to have their auto-solve mode on. Now the reason this question has come up is because when you import um, let's say a DXF or a DWG and you have many 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 sketch entities in one sketch it will toggle itself on automatically. So that happens and we, we see this um, warning in the status bar. So if you want to turn that off it's just a case of going to tools, sketch settings and then turn automatic solve back on. At that point, your sketch will update live. Thanks for watching.